Hi, Gemini. It's Siberia from Cats and Cards. So I have Carnelian here. And Carnelian is a sexy stone. I also have Howlite, which is a Geminid stone. Let's get into some uh, general energies. What should Gemini do to bring in new energy? Walk away from something. I feel like you should also quit with that mindset of you're going to be abandoned or fear-based thinking about abandonment or what ifs. I think Geminis live in the what if state so much. So what should Gemini do to bring in new energy here what should gemini do to bring in new energy this is for gemini sun moon rising venus sign and north node um gemini i feel like you should start loving on yourself you should start aligning your mind everything you do i'm hearing that all you need is love you got it you have to do everything with love if you want a happy life a happy wife being a happy couple a connection um alignments you have to do it with love this shaman told me everything that you do you do with love and you will feel it you'll feel it released down here everything you do you do with your heart chakra um, you could be dealing with the Aries. You could be dealing with the Cancer. But these are the energies. Cancer is about home life. Aries is about action oriented. Um, you're getting a new beginning. But this all depends on how you manifest at this time. You're original. You're adventurous. Um, feel more playful in whatever situation that you're in. And you're bringing a, a balanced and equalized type of alchemy in your life. Yeah. Yeah, the magician comes out sideways here. So somebody is trying their hardest, their damnedest to manifest. Your spirit guides are here. Um, temperance is in reverse. So I feel like somebody, for some of you, you have restless energy. For others of you, you're getting this under control. Your birthday could be on the 1st or the 14th, Gemini. You could be seeing a lot of zeros. You could be seeing 1414 or 555. What else for Gemini? You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But a Sagittarius is about going after what you love to clear this energy this stagnant energy you need to go after things be creative um be a manifester be responsible burkano uraz and bull somebody is feeling not creative at this time and i feel like your feminine energy is askew somebody could be crying a lot or panicking or worrying or having an anxiety and i don't mean feminines cry feminines cry or panic or worry i just mean when you have a balanced yin and yang a light and dark a masculine and feminine all these things will be added to you Uraz, bull you could be dealing with the taurus you could have a u in your name you could have a b in your name but ideas and downloads will come to you you need to have um, a freedom about yourself an untamed uh, potential has anybody ever seen that movie limitless gemini you are the messenger of the gods you are literally limitless your mind can do anything you can use all capacities of your brain you are the messenger of the gods you're ruled by mercury and to you chemistry great vibes this is you putting all that love and self-care into yourself and this is what you will receive um for some of you you have people that are really into you you have somebody that's tripping over you right now somebody might be coming in with scarcity tactics just to kind of throw you off they might be having a bad day tripping on you for some of you that is psilocybin and carlos um somebody needs to watch their payments or somebody needs to watch speeding or get your car serviced at this time. What else for Gemini? Ain't shit. Hmm, this person that's tripping on you ain't shit. Um, I feel like what you're going through, Gemini, you've been through before, and you're rolling your third eye at this. This is test, this is lessons. Why are we always gonna be test and lessened to death? Okay. Great fortune is in reverse. Poverty is in the upright. Somebody needs to get out of that poverty mindset. But this could literally be a Gemini low on resources. You could be, be you could be, 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 be. You could be <laughs> 26 years old. You could be 47. Within one week, you're going to be getting some kind of communication. I feel like you're being mature and putting on a brave face at this time. For some of you, this is an actual woman that is... Um, Wow, worried about being cheated on or worried about hidden agenda. Your birthday could be on the 8th or the 6th. The 14th is the eclipse. Yeah, there's a wealthy man here. Um, something lucky is going to be happening to somebody on the 13th. Main female seduction. A wealthy man wants to come towards you. Yeah, look at all this. Look at all this jumble. So a wealthy man, for some of you Geminis, this is a masculine 
and two feminines, somebody ghosted you and you're being mature about it. But for others of you, this is a same sex relationship and there is somebody that wants to return. For um, other groups of you, there's a wealthy man that's going to be lucky in your life and you're being mature and putting on a brave face and helping your partner through this. Now, man or woman, take what resonates. Not every single reading is going to resonate every single time. For some of you, you could be going to court. Um, 23, you could be 23 or 36. This is about hopes, dreams, and wishes. What else for Gemini? You can manifest this. Make the decision to manifest this. This is what Spirit's asking you. Yeah, distractions. Get them out of the way. Take your dogs on a walk. If you hear crows calling in the morning, this is alerting you. This is trying to get your attention. Get that masculine and that ego in check right now. 16 is a karmic number. You could be showing too much dominance or you need to take the bull by the horns is what you've seen in the, the runes and take this situation and and I'm, I'm hearing like I want to take you down this is sexual this is creative but I feel that somebody's working on something and they're letting fear hold them back from doing what they know they love doing what they are destined to do what else for Gemini Cashing. Okay, so you won't have to do this anymore. I feel like somebody has been um, living a scarce life. Still put up money. Still try to conserve resources. But I feel like for some Geminis that are following um, their true calling, they, they won't have to be doing this anymore. Give me more information on this wealthy man. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The Knight of Pentacles is usually the slowest moving energy. But here we have a Saturn return. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You're going to need patience. Expect the unexpected. Some money is coming in, but you're going to need to manifest. You have esoteric wisdom. You're going to have to manifest so that your manifestations hold. Again, you need to do everything with love, Gemini, and you're going to need to budget at this time. So budgeting, use your throat chakra, communicate with your person, um, put things up for yourself, and do not get distracted. Be laser focused. So that is what I have for you, Gemini. I'm Siberia from Cats and Cards. If you find that my readings are resonating with you, please hit that like, share, and follow. If you want to further connect with me, please message Cats and Cards at yahoo.com. Thanks.